Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you how to cut an overlap panel to size and I'm going to start right now. <laughs> If you want to see more DIY videos, fencing, how-to videos, tool reviews and other related stuff, please stick around and click the subscribe button. In my next video, I'll be busting the myth on whether a wet mix or a dry mix concrete is best for concreting in fence posts. Click the notification bell to be notified when I upload this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is determine the, the spe your spacing for the panel. So I've measured top and bottom and because I'm, I've put in level posts um, I don't need to cut an, an odd shape, it's the same distance the top and the bottom so that measures 152 centimetres so you mark that on your panel and you're going to need to take a long level and then join those markings up. And now you're going to need a large flat surface to walk on and this patio is perfect for that. So now we're going to lay the panel down and then cut it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the line that's on this panel, but it's just in front of this level at the moment. Now what we're going to be doing is cutting this section off, but then removing the battens from the end piece and then reattaching it at the end of the the panel that you're going to be putting in. Now because this is flush against the ground I just want to raise it up off the ground as, as I cut it so I'm going to just get this long level and I'm going to use it as um, a riser to, to raise it off the ground. Now I've just put the level on the back side of this panel away from where I'm going to cut, so I've got a clear, clear place to cut and then I'm going to use this Makita 36 volt circular saw to cut the panel. Now we have the panel cut, we need to take off the batten off the end of this off cut to use to reattach to the panel. So, what you do is you get your crowbar, just slot it in underneath one of these battens and then pry it up. ready to just place on top and now back in. Okay as you can see I've reattached the two buttons on the end here and I just literally nailed the nails back through the baton into the into the baton behind and then now this panel is ready to fit. 